Hi there everyone, welcome to Soloed Quest. I am Ed and today I have another showcase uh, for you, another showcase of a product that is being offered by uh, Folded Space. This is their insert for uh, Maracaibo, uh, a great game by uh, the great Alexander Pfister. Uh, Maracaibo, I've actually, I've done a review here on the channel. If you're interested in the game itself, you can check out my review. I will also do a playthrough here on the future for Maracaibo, where I will actually be putting uh, this insert to the test uh, and letting you see and judge for yourself how useful this insert is or can be uh, during actual gameplay, okay? So you will perfectly see uh, me, I'll probably even do that, uh, see me taking, uh, doing kind of the setup with the trays so that you can definitely judge how, how much time this might save you or not, and then seeing the usefulness of the trays during game. Play, all right but for this video right now I will show you exactly where all the components from the base uh, the base game of Maracaibo fit into the insert it also fits the uh, Armada expansion which I don't own but I, I don't think it's it's that big of an expansion uh, but yeah it does fit here on the insert if you're if you're curious about that uh, so yeah that's what I will be doing here for you today taking these components off, putting them into this insert and then placing the all of the trays from the insert into the box so that you can see how it all is going to fit together in here, okay? But before we do all that, I still have to assemble this. So if you're wondering how you can assemble one of these, uh, please check out my playlist. Uh, I will leave also a link in the description for my video, uh, a detailed video that I that I did on how uh, I assemble these inserts, what's my process. Uh, you can maybe not do all of the steps I do, um, but I like to use a bit of glue just to, to have a, a really strong insert. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want, if you are curious and want those uh, instructions, check out my uh, video in the description. But without further ado, let's uh, let's assemble this, and I'll come back in a moment to show you well how the insert goes with this game, all right? So, see you soon. Hey, so our insert is assembled. So now we're going to be placing the components from our game box right here onto our insert, which you can see right here, and then basically putting the insert back into the box, box so that you can see how it all fits uh, right in here and how well you can take out everything uh, to help you organize your uh, your gameplay okay so let's just open this up uh, and you'll actually see uh, the way i have my america organized nowadays uh, so a little feck and errata there you go so my rule book i had this on top of all of this with a few baggies i have kind of a mix here of baggies and uh and another kind of insert, plastic one. So yeah, kind of a mess here. Uh, it's okay, uh, but uh, definitely not a perfect setup. Okay, so now I'm going to take these components off. I'm going to be placing them here on our folded space insert, uh, and we will see if, well, that improves my setup here. So let's uh, let's get started. Let me just have a quick look here at our, as always, we have this little, uh, this little, sheet that helps us uh, know where everything is going to go okay so i will basically be looking at this while i'm organizing all of my stuff in here so uh, first things first let's just start with tray one which is the easiest one we just place basically cards in here uh one of these uh, will take um one of the sides takes the type a card the other one takes the type b uh and other cards the other one takes a type b so let's just quickly do that. Uh, I do have my s game sleeve, so you will actually uh, see if, uh, well, it, it does accommodate sleeves. I can already tell you that, but you will de you can def definitely see that for yourself. So, um, I'm going to take all of these cards out, I'm going to place them in this uh, these trays, and we'll be right back and you'll be able to see how well they fit. Okay, so this is how I decided to organize my cards. I have my A and B cards here on one of the card trays, okay? These are separate, so uh, you can just use them in your play area just fine. So A and B cards, I place them here. On the other one, I have uh, story cards and uh, Althoma. I have the Althoma and what else? I have the buildings, these ones, and also the 
objectives uh, I don't remember the names I haven't played this for a while uh, career cards so that's what I placed on uh, these trays right here again all the cards are sleeved except for the story ones uh, but I think they would uh, fit just fine all right so these two trays all done they just take all of the cards in the game that's done let's go into the next one all right so next we will be doing these four trays right here which are for the player pieces so basically one tray for each of the players each color so i will just fill them up really quick and i'll show you how all of it uh goes together on these uh these little trays here okay so these are the player pieces they are all in here okay all four colors so there you go, blue, yellow, green, and black with the little player pieces and then the discs uh, on the other space. Honestly, while I was doing this, I was thinking this is a godsend because I, I had these uh, these little discs in these little spaces uh, of my old insert. Just to get them out uh, with such a cramped space, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. So these are done. Okay, so let's go into the, the next ones, the next trays. Uh, let's do the, the blooms. These are trays three and four, which are these ones, three, three and four. So these are going to have our doubloons, our money, our currency. So let's do that really quick and I'll come right back. Okay, so done, our doubloons. So we got our fibers right here on a dedicated tray that goes here. And then we have all our number, um, value one, value two doubloons on the other tray. So everything very neatly organized. These are done, we aren't missing much, uh, so we have these two, these two, and these two right here, okay, so let's uh, jump on to the next, uh, next tray, the ownership marker cubes for tray 5, which is, which is this one right here, alright, so ownership marker cubes, these are the, actually let's just do this, I don't even need to stop, honestly, the black, uh, the, the white ones, Red ones, and then the blue ones. Okay, there we go. All done. Easy peasy. Uh, let's just jump into this one then, which is synergy tokens and city tiles. All right, synergy tokens. So that would be these ones. All right, so that's done. So our, uh, what's it called? Sorry, synergy tokens and our city tiles right here on the other space, okay? I did also put the value 10 doubloons here uh, with these coins because I was forgetting about these, all right? So all of this is done. So we're just missing this right here, which uh, will take all of the uh, 8A and 8B, so one of these will take the quest tiles, the other one takes the combat tokens, okay? So I'll do that really quickly. I'll come back in a second. All right, all done. So we have our combat tiles right here and the quest ones right here. So I actually, uh, I was using this like a drawstring bag to randomly pick these. Honestly, I can just see myself coming in here and just randomly taking one of these because there's space for you to kind of push them back. So you can just go here, take a random one and there you go. So definitely I can see myself doing this. Uh, might be harder for shuffling, but honestly, when you're just putting the game back in here, uh, you won't remember next session what you're doing, or you can you might not even pay any attention. So yet these are done, uh, and that's it. We are missing only these two uh, trays right here, uh, which I guess are for the legacy stuff because that's mostly what's uh, what is missing. Yes, yes, it is. And actually, this tray is just for the story cards. So I I had actually placed them right here, but honestly, I could just take them out and place these story cards. Uh, in the other one although I mean I don't really need it uh, again if I had all of this sleeved uh, maybe I would have needed but honestly I'll actually use it for something else so let me just have my story cards in here uh, so this is for the other legacy tiles so I can just take them out I guess take them and place them here don't think you need any special organization Sorry, because I actually dropped one. There we go. Okay, so plenty of space in there. 
There's this big one. Does it fit here? Ah, but it, it's going to fit on top. I can already tell because there's a little crevice here. Let's see if it's visible. Can you see it? This little crevice. And I'm guessing, yeah, this tile is going to fit, right? Just like this on top, which is very nice because I couldn't fit it in this other tray I had, which I don't need anymore. Um, all right, so this is going on top. And honestly, what I might use this for is to for my save uh, because I do have my saved campaign here. So honestly, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just use it to place my saved stuff. There we go. All right, so fantastic. So I'm I'm just improvising here. There's more room than I need, uh, to be honest. Uh, I don't have uh, the story card sleeved, so I guess I, I saved some space there. Uh, and so with that saved space, I will use this tray to store my saved, uh, my saved campaign. I really need to get this, uh, this plate. All right, so everything is, uh, is back on the trays. Uh, actually, let me show up here again. Everything is here on the trays. So all we need to do is place everything now inside of the box. And let's see how all of this fits along with our uh, player boards and player aids and all of that. All right, so let's just place this here. We've got our rule book. So let's just uh, let's just use the the little aid we have here. So well, it's basically what I did here, honestly. So we just place this here for the cards. Then this one. Then these two. So right here. All right, good stuff. Then we take these ones, place them here. Let me put it like this. All right. I think it's safe now. Okay, player pieces, they go right here. More player pieces, which go here. Uh, these cubes will go here, this will go here. Our city, our synergy. And last but not least, all we're missing is our doubloons, which will go right here. Okay. So, uh, in terms of, there's a bit of elevation here, which I'm not sure what it is for. So a good thing that you can do then is uh, when you kind of fit all of this in here, you do have this little aid here, uh, just to show you where each of the trays go. Um, but then if you want to uh, see where you would place uh, the player boards, the player aids, the rule book, then it's a good thing to actually check out uh, Folded Spades website because they have pictures with all of this. So let's uh, let's have a quick look. All right, so we're now in Folded Spaces website. Again, this is a great aid just to show you how to organize everything. So on, in this product page, you can just scroll down. You can have a look at uh, which components go where. So it's good to have a, a more detailed look at everything. So as you can see, they do spread out their cards a bit more. Again, it's weird because I, I, oh yeah, my sleeves are thinner. That's probably it. It's, they're, not, uh, they're not those premium, super thick sleeves. Here you can see how all of this uh, helps out during play. You will see it as well once we do our playthrough. And then you have a little bit, always uh, here at the end, you have a bit of aid telling you uh, how to place the rule book, the maps, etc. So when packing the box first place, uh, the game board on top of the trays, this is followed by the rule book and the overview cards. Lastly, uh, place the ship boards on top of everything. All right, so usually, yes, it's all, it's all in for vertical storage. Usually uh, it's perfectly compatible with that. All right, so uh, basically we just place the game board, I guess now, and then the, um, rule book and overview cards. Okay, so let's uh, let's just do that. I, I find it weird because th these trays are a bit, these are higher. So I think, I think I might have swapped something here. Let me see. Yes, I definitely did. I definitely did. So this is on me. So I did swap the doubloons the with these ones. So actually, let me just take out these ones. Let's do this really quickly. All right, place the city tiles here. Yeah, they were kind of coming out on top, which I was finding it a bit weird, but there we go. All right, now we're good to go. And our two coins and our one coins. Okay, so this goes here. All right, now we're talking. 
this goes here. There we go. All right. Now it's completely flat. I was having a bit of elevation. I was finding it a bit weird. Okay. There we go. So map all flat here. Actually, we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, then the rule book. Okay. Then, well, we have these player raids. We can also place these two right here. And last but not least, the player board. I'll just divide them just like this as well. Okay, so I still, oh yeah, I also have this, uh, an errata. So this is something that I printed. Let me just see if this closes without my stuff in inside. All right. Yeah, it, it closes pretty good. Uh, can you, let me actually, there you go. So it is a little bit elevated, I'll admit. But okay, now it's it's better focused. But honestly, everything has to be nicely inside of this. All right. So is there? Yeah, yeah. I think everything is good. All right. So what you always uh, I always advise is to keep this uh, the the sheet for folded space. Okay. Because uh, it helps when uh, you remove the trays to play so that you know how to organize everything back into the box. This is a, a great help. Okay, so keep this. Uh, it's uh, it's helpful. And yeah, that is it. Yeah, you can just fold it. No pun intended. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just place it right here. And there we go. Mm -hmm. That is Maracaibo. Uh, folded space insert for Mara. Kaibo. So honestly, uh, I like it. I like it. it. There is a little bit of elevation, which I don't know if it was needed, um, but uh, oh, I think this will greatly help with setup. This is a game, if you saw my review, that I complained about the setup. Honestly, uh, it's a bit uh, bothersome, and I think this will help. Most definitely will help. It was one of my the pains with uh, that I had with. Uh, the games, but yeah, the, the game, but yeah, overall, I do like this, uh, I mean, if there's anything that I don't like, let me see, I do have space to store my legacy stuff, all of these are, have a lot of space, so even if I have to find a very specific one, I have a lot of space here to work and, uh, find my legacy tile, honestly, if I just had to present one complaint, it would be that, uh, uh these tokens right here, you kind of have to jumble, but, but even this, this is nothing, this is no, no complaint, uh, what, no proper complaint, honestly, this is pretty good, it is pretty well organized, uh, I would just try to lower it a little bit more, uh, to have it go, uh, completely, um, closed, but that's just a tiny, tiny, tiny tid, uh, nitpick, uh, it works uh, perfectly, honestly I think it will help us a lot and like I said you can just uh, make up your own uh, your own mind if it, uh, if it fits you and your needs as well because we will be using uh, this insert on our Maracaibo playthrough which we will have here on the channel uh, in the near future okay so that's that's coming I did the review never got to do the playthrough but hey now that I have this insert it's a great excuse to show it to you uh, and show you the value uh, of the insert uh, helping you with uh, the setup and uh, organizing your play area. All right. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the the this video and the insert itself, and you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can go directly uh, into Folded Spaces website and see the product there. Uh, they have all sorts of other inserts. So um, go and have a stroll around their store. Maybe there's some other game in your collection that needs an insert, uh, and they might actually have an offer for you. All right, so yeah, that is it for me. Again, thank you so much for uh, watching uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.